Hey, this is Research Indicates, and I just ate a handful of honeybees. Well, not really, but uh, things are starting to ramp up a little bit in the game here. First things first, we're going to need a fast plane for this one. So let's use our new Fury frame here. And as you can see, it's a pretty good setup here. Fairly light, good speed, good armor, good agility. Doesn't uh, come with too much in the way of offense. This is mostly because of the rocket hard points. You'll see we've only got two on one wing and one on the other. Three rocket hard points. That's nothing, but the guns make up for that pretty nicely. So, uh, first things first, we're going to take these guys off. Having guns out on the outer wings isn't very useful. It messes up your convergence point. If you keep them on the inner wings instead, then you can get... Uh, get more range out of the damn things. Okay, so 60 and 40. Hard point, we're gonna drop one of these since uh, two isn't all that useful. Uh, let's see, paint fortune hunters, that looks pretty good. Uh, tail, pirate, pirate guy, no, 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 where's my, where's my dog? Devastating air biscuits, much better. Okie doke, armor, armor looks pretty good, 25, 25, 20, 20, okay. By dropping that hard point, we are able to bump this up to the uh, third tier engine. Check that out. Capacity 7610, current weight 7610. Perfect. So my offense is uh, about the same top speed, by the way. Okay, so not a whole lot has changed here, but this really gets us going quick. So let's go ahead, buy this guy. It's waiting for me. There it is. Good looking plane right there. Let's go. Gang, let me introduce Dr. Wilhelm Fassenbinder. No, oh, no, please. It is I who is thanking you. You saved me from the Bolsheviks. I owe you my life. Bless you all. Doctor, show everybody what you were showing me earlier. What? Oh, yeah. At Boeing Special Projects, we are working on the most amazing aeroplane, codenamed Blue Streak. I give it new nitrous oxide injection that gives sudden burst of speed. But you must keep very quiet because this is top secret, yeah? I think we should steal it. No, no, wait. What about my daughter, Ilsa? We'll steal her and the plane on the same day. All right! Good boy. Now, all of Boeing Field is protected by Blake Aviation Security, so be careful. They'll put good pilots up against us. At 8.15, like every morning when they ship her in, Ilsa will be traveling aboard this train here. When we get close, she'll climb out on the caboose. I'll pick her up by swooping down close to the train and matching its speed. Once I pick up Ilsa, we need a diversion to clear people out of the hangar, where they store the blue streak. Uh, a truck collects fuel from the depot every hour. If we hit the truck while it's collecting the fuel, it could cause a chain reaction that will blow the whole depot sky high. With everybody busy watching the fireworks, I'll fly into this hangar, parachute out, and nab the streak while Ilsa pilots my plane to safety. After clearing the area of any remaining fighters, we return to the Pandora. Big John! Tex! I need your sections to cover me on my run. We launch in ten. Yeah, yeah let's go, Tex! Go, go, go. go! What an exciting mission. Alrighty, let's change some things here. Slugs are good. Switch that over to Explosivos. Get some black in here. Now you'll notice we got a couple new uh, new options here. The uh, the flash rocket, the smoke emitter, the choker. Uh, presumably uh, those came with Dr. Fassenbinder. Uh, I can go into these in more detail later. The smoke in particular is going to come in real handy uh, in a later mission. So uh, flak flak, that's pretty good. Slugs explosives, this is going to be pretty dang good. And once again, I cannot change my, uh, my wingmates uh, anything because they're all doing their own thing. So Let's go! Enemy aircraft on patrol. Okay. We'll engage them while you attempt to pick a boss. Over. Engaging now. I'll corral as many of these green horns as I can. The train is exiting the tunnel by the town. I am ready to be picked up. Big John here. I'm all shot okay, up. right off the bat. Somehow. Over. Oops. Nice try, but I'm still on you. On your left, Bandit at 9 o'clock. Below you, Bandit at 12 o'clock low. On your right, Bandit Barry, 3 o'clock. Nice try, 
I'm able to outturn these guys. I'm much faster than them. Oh, which causes trouble like that. Sounds like the Medusas are working for Blake's security now. I know I've heard this voice before. Okay, there's a peacemaker. Bowling Field is a pretty cool place. I'm on the train oh, waiting for uh, you, Mr. Zachary. Why don't you come and pick me up? I'm still here, punk. You got away this time. Ow, nuts. I've been hit. What an honorable gentleman. Okay, there's our train. Oops, and there's a problem. Okay, reduce speed a little bit here. That's a little silly. Whoa, not doing Trump that. Should be arriving any minute now. We'll need to hold off these fighters for just a bit longer. Over. Careful, you got them all hot and bothered. Okay, we got somebody over here. It's a very nice setup. Look at this big old, uh, big old landing strip here. Some kind of facility for. Controlling things, some sort of control tower. Well Ooh, scenic little, uh, Jack here. scenic little I lighthouse here. It's real nice. They're headed for the depot now. Wait for them to get to the they depot said, before attacking them. Over. They said Boeing Field Boeing is up here near Seattle or something, right? Uh-oh. Tech sucks a lot. I got longer range than you. Ow, nuts! I've been hit. Oh, so close. Okay, we're in business, oh, Captain. The truck oh. is at the depot and juicing up. Blow it up now, and that whole fuel depot will go sky high. <laughs> that one won't be bothering us no more. You're going down, pirate. <laughs> Good night, Irie. You sure know how to start a fire, boss. Break out the marshmallows, y'all. If that don't get their attention, I don't know what will. What will? Curse it. Just about had him. Someone help me taking heavy damage here. Okay, got this guy. Transmitting the radio code now, right. boss. The big hangar doors are opening. Now's our chance, boss. Fly into the hangar before they figure out what we're up to. Uh-oh. Okay. That's some forced barnstorming. Here we go. I've got it. Getting airborne now. Look out, sir. Someone launched right behind you. He's right on your tail. I've been cleared to shoot you and our plane down, pirate. Bail out while you can. You have to catch me first, old chap. Full of fight, this one.
Now the blue streak here is a very interesting feature, a nitrous injector. Check this out. Now I'm going really fast. Probably breaking 400 here. They're punching okay. me full of holes, but I'm okay. Over. And the boost is already recharged. That's great. Don't you do any better than that? Got to destroy something over here. Oh, nope, the boost isn't recharged. I read that right. Watch out, bogey at six o'clock. Cargo train. On your left, bogey at nine o'clock. But this thing. Loop back around. Let's see what the heck that was. Hey, uh, back. Car train. Oh, check that out. Heads up, bogey at six o'clock high. Say, nice work out there, Captain. That should give us the edge for a while. I say, can't you do any better than that? Right. Just All right, time to take care of the ace. I got me a slippery one. Well, comrade. One rocket left. Comrades, comrades. Watch out, bogey, six o'clock low. Where is this guy? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get you up here. Okay, got a good hit. No, it's no fancy maneuvers. When you hit the ground, tell them Nathan Zachary sent you. You showed him, Chief. Nobody messes with us. Nope. All right, you mugs. Let's clear out the last of these fighters so we can return to base, over. Clear out the last of these fighters so we can return to base. So I did these uh, these objectives a little bit out of order, sorry. Uh, but... That's the fun thing about some of these later missions, is you're given a number of objectives and you can go ahead and complete them pretty much at whatever... Okay, fellas. Let's get back to the barn and see what Fassenbinder can do with our new prize. Huh. Oh, well, that was, that was easy. Anyway, you get to do things pretty much in the order you want uh, in a lot of these missions, which is real fun. One ace, seven peacemakers. We got Ilza. There she is. There's the, uh, the thing there. Okie doke, Mr. Zachary. I must thank you ever so much for rescuing me from the. Ah. This is uh, interesting. She and the black swan seem to have the same pink stationery. How about that? Uh, I got a photo of some guys, Zachary and, and these guys. Uh, this is kind of a generic picture. I don't know what this has to do with this mission. Um. Blake Ace shot down, so this is going to be the other guy in the uh, Blue Streak plane. Bad luck. Is Blake Aviation really secure? Uh-oh. Sounds like these guys are in trouble. And there's Blake himself, Paladin Blake. We'll run into him later. Let's see here. Next mission. All kinds of stuff. Stunning air raid on Boeing Field. Boy, this is a, a high-profile mission, isn't it? Look at all this great stuff. And apparently there were people on that airplane, or I'm sorry, on that uh, zeppelin when we were zipping around. Uh, so, whoops, got the plans for the Blood Hawk that uh, that we were calling the Blue Streak. Let's see, four, two. I'm not sure what these numbers mean. I wonder if this is a carryover from the board game because we, uh, when you're building your planes, you seem to have them in units of five. You know, the, my current plane had 25 units of armor in, in uh, one area, so that's odd. Uh, Alright, let's see. Uh, nitro. Ooh, the planes for the nitro. So we can now put nitro boosters in our planes. That turns out to be really dang useful in some situations. We'll go into that later. Uh, let's see. Boeing Field is shut down. Oh, no. Well, I would, actually, that makes sense since uh, that Bloodhawk crashed right on the, uh, right on the field. Right on the runway. That's not good. Uh, and then down here is our little 
stunt from the Zeppelin hangar. Uh, as you can see, there are three more, one of which is the railroad tunnel, and I don't know what the other two are, but uh, that railroad tunnel caused me some problems, so this time I decided to not, uh, not deal with it. I'm sure you understand. Okay, so here we are, back in the hangar. There's the uh, Bloodhawk sitting right there. Even though we just got that, that is not going to be the, uh, the new plane for today. Uh, today's plane is going to be the McDonnell Kestrel. We got that almost back in the first level, but uh, it's been this long before we could actually afford to get the dang thing. So we're going to look at that first, and then, uh, then let's take a look at the plane of the day. So uh, let's go. Today we're looking at the McDonnell Kestrel. The Kestrel uses a rare twin hull design that produces enhanced stability in level flight. This makes the aircraft a fearsomely accurate gun platform. Equipped with two Rolls-Royce Merlin II engines, the Kestrel is capable of high speeds while deploying a substantial load of external ordnance. Unfortunately, the inherent stability of the aircraft makes for poor turning rates and the overall weight of the airframe results in sluggish climbing performance. The centerline weapon pod houses a devastating cocktail of destruction that includes everything from 40 caliber machine guns to 60 caliber cannons. Eight hard points add to the potential firepower of this ungainly aircraft. Today's plane of the day is an old favorite, the SR-71 Blackbird. It's an advanced long-range, greater than Mach 3 strategic reconnaissance aircraft developed by the Lockheed Skunk Works as a black project. The SR-71 was unofficially named the Blackbird by its crews. The Blackbird was built to fly at speeds far beyond any previous aircraft. A difficult issue with greater than Mach 3 flight is the very high temperature generated by friction. The airframe of the Blackbird was made of thick titanium to withstand the heat and the fuel inside the craft was used as a heat sink for avionics cooling. Building the Blackbird structure using 85% titanium and 15% composites was a first in the aircraft industry. The advances made by Lockheed in fabricating this material have been used in more recent high-speed aircraft, including most modern fighters. Studies of the titanium skin revealed that the metal was actually growing stronger over time due to the intense heating during flight. To allow for thermal expansion, the body panels were manufactured to fit loosely on the ground. Proper fit was only achieved when the airframe heated due to air resistance at high speeds, causing the airframe to expand several inches. Because of this, the aircraft would leak fuel onto the runway before it took off. Despite Lockheed's best efforts, the Blackbird was easy to track on radar because of the huge infrared signature when cruising at Mach 3 or higher. It was visible on air traffic control radar for hundreds of miles, even when not using a transponder. Over the course of its service life, not one SR-71 was shot down, despite over 4,000 attempts to do so. All the pilot had to do when a missile was fired was accelerate. The SR-71 was the world's fastest and highest flying operational manned aircraft throughout its career. No one is really sure what the replacement for the SR-71 is. Spy satellites are governed by the laws of orbital mechanics and can take up to 24 hours to overfly a target. UAVs are becoming popular since they don't put pilots at risk, but they have their own set of problems. There may yet be a place for a Blackbird-type plane in the future. 